What if I told you you could play golf without worrying about green fees, without hooking the ball, without ever slicing the ball, and frankly without having to worry about a third dimension? Sounds pretty nice, right? Well, you're going to get all of those things in Terraria Golf, which is a new feature they've added to Terraria 1.4, aka Journey's End. I'll start with this image. I want to talk about it a little bit. The Terraria Golf kind of promo image they have on the official forums. If you look over to the right side of the image, they've got a pretty cool little pro shop that they've built here, featuring, I guess, some of the new items that they've added to Terraria for the um, golf game. Looks like a golf trophy, some hats, and some other items like flags. So pretty cool. It's not just uh, lip service to golf. As we'll see in this video, they've actually done it pretty good justice, given the fact that this is Terraria and not Tiger Woods Golf. The details were brought to us today by Loki, as usual on the official forums, and he wrote, Happy Launch Week Terrarians. We are truly on the home stretch now, and the development team is working feverishly to get the final bug fixes, tweaks, and polish into Journey's End so that everyone can have an amazing experience for moment one. It has been an exciting journey indeed these past couple of weeks, as we have introduced you to some of the new content and features that you will soon enjoy, and this week will be no exception as we count down to launch in a few short days. Today's feature covers something that caught quite a few Terrarians by surprise when it was first revealed way back at the PC gaming show during E3 in 2019. Golf. Golf? We still hear you saying, and we are here today to help answer some of those burning questions that you have about this fun new way to play Terraria. So get your clubs in your bag, a fresh set of golf balls, and let's grip it and rip it out on the course. Well, that's a pretty good introduction, and it feels like E3 2019 was forever ago. I still remember the little hiccup they had with the Terraria video during the PC gaming show, but of course that didn't dull any of our enthusiasm for the big reveal in that video. Anyway, uh, many months later now, here we are, and they've finally given us some more details on Terraria Golf, which is sounding, as I said, like a pretty robust addition to the game, and one I doubt any of us saw coming before the uh, teaser way back at E3. Anyway, uh, the official post, and I won't really get into it here, the official post though did explain some of the basic features of golf, the basic rules, and imagine almost all of you know the basic rules. Get the ball in the hole in as few strokes as possible. Uh, some other rules, and this image demonstrates it rather well, you want to avoid the hazards. You want to keep it on the fairway. The fairway makes the ball travel further. Hazards like water trap, where this ball is apparently destined to land. And then also sand traps are not good places for golf balls. And so as you can imagine with the water and sand features and terraria maps, you have a lot of opportunity for challenge or even griefing depending on how you view it if you're to construct one of your own golf holes. So certainly this was not a very good shot. You don't want to do this. Don't copy this one. This is not a Tiger Woods shot. Anyway, in terms of the clubs, it's not full-fledged golf. It's got apparently four types of clubs. The driver for distance, the iron for intermediate shots, the wedge for approach shots, and then of course the trusty putter for the final few inches or few yards to the hole. Now obviously all four of these clubs are different. The, the driver and the putter are low or even along the ground, whereas the iron and the wedge are more elevated and lofty shots. And the thing about Terraria, especially Journey's End, is the fact that they're adding a lot of wind effects. And wind, of course, is no exception in golf. So your iron and wedge shots are going to be very uh, affected by the wind, whereas your driver and uh, putts are going to be more affected by the nature of the ground along which they roll. Nothing too surprising there. Um, but you can see from these images in action that... Uh, you know, you can have some pretty lengthy holes here, so you're going to do a lot of world construction if you get serious about golf. And you can see how the new journey mode will be really conducive to golf. The way you can turn off enemy spawns, or at least lower them down, will be very useful if you're trying to get a golf game in. I wouldn't advise this in a regular game during a sandstorm or anything like that, for sure. Anyway, moving along in his official post, 
they included this image, which was a list of, uh, or rather a display of all the different golf ball colors. Certainly very useful if everyone wants to play multiplayer, but doesn't want to get confused about whose ball is whose. Very good addition. They obviously thought that one through. And then you have these golf accessories that they've talked about, including the golf whistle. This one here, Loki writes, a tool of last resort, the golf whistle will return your ball to where it was last hit. Useful for times when you get yourself stuck in a bad spot and can't get out, but beware, using the golf whistle will cost you one penalty stroke. So it's kind of like a drop ball in golf. Again, if you're familiar with golf, nothing too surprising there. I'm certainly glad that they included this. I'd imagine it's pretty easy in the harsh world of Terraria to lose your ball. Next up, and this is a really cool addition, is the golf cart. Apparently you don't have to just use this in golf. Loki writes, true golf purists will tell you that walking the course is the only way. Of course, others think that walking is for the dogs. This new mount can zip you around the course and the world in general in style. So it's a shame they don't have Bubba Watson's hovercraft golf cart, but you know, you can't have everything in life. Certainly this is a neat little mount that they've added to the game. And then next up, they have a demonstration of golf in action. Evidently someone's tee shot in this rather scenic desert setting. See the ball carried over the water hazard. Whether it gets up the hill is anyone's guess, but it looks like a pretty good and powerful shot. Very cool image there. And when it comes to golfing, Loki was providing some tips on how to play. I'm not sure I necessarily have to explain this to you guys. I'd imagine, as I said earlier, that most of you know that uh, golf, and especially golf video games, are really about power and trajectory, usually in three dimensions. But in this case, this is Terraria after all. You only have to worry about two-dimensional trajectory, which I guess makes it a little easier. Um, clearly from these images, there's this toggle where you can see a preview of the ball's flight based on your current trajectory settings. So that's good at least when you're learning to play and getting familiar with just the feel of Terraria Golf. So I like that. And then the ever-present power meter, I don't think that needs really any explanation. Anyone who's played video games before can probably figure that one out. But you see, there it is in action. And our little friendly golfer here even has a nice little golf hat. Maybe not a true Tam O'Shanter, but not a bad hat all told. So that's that. And then when it comes to getting your ball in the hole, there's a nifty little graphic effect, a little firework effect when it goes in to celebrate. So that's not bad. And that's pretty much it. Uh, in terms of designing the course, Loki writes, at the most basic level, a golf course is a series of golf holes each made up of a tee box and a cup. Nothing more complicated than that. However, this is Terraria. Terrarian golf course creators will make smart use of how the environment and terrain impact golf shots, setting up tricky situations to challenge even the most pro-tier golfer. This section of our guide will give an overview of various terrain and how it impacts golf courses. Let's begin with this one. It's probably the most interesting addition to Terraria 1.4 and that's mowed grass. I didn't think they'd implement this, but of course this is golf. And so Loki writes, this is the most pristine and ideal surface from which to hit your golf ball. Thicker grass will slow your ball down as it rolls and take away a bit of your power on shots. And here we have a lawnmower in action. They thought of everything. Loki writes, a lawnmower can take care of that long grass for you if you're looking to design your own course. And of course many of you will want to at least one time try your hand at designing a golf course. Well evidently there's a lawnmower now. What isn't there in Terraria at this point? And you can see the nice little effect, the rather jagged rough is being converted into mowed grass, which I guess allows the ball to run further. Next up are softer surfaces, surfaces like dirt and sand, that sort of thing. And as you might imagine, just like in the real world, these are not good for golfers. They're golfers enemies. It's tough to get out. Your ball stops moving pretty rapidly once it's in. No surprises there. And then hard surfaces, surfaces like stone, brick, that sort of thing, even ice. Uh, you're going to get these ridiculous bounces, which I suppose could allow for trick shots, but also could backfire spectacularly if you don't 
treat them with the due respect. Next up, water, which Loki writes is a golfer's worst nightmare, and obviously even professional golfers, as any golf viewer will know, even professional golfers succumb to water hazards fairly regularly. Not where you want to land, and so if you are designing a course, well, these are going to be some of the trickiest hazards to go over. In terms of other blocks, Loki writes, of course Terraria has a seemingly endless variety of blocks. You'll have to experiment and learn how each of them will impact your golf shots and how the golf balls interact with each of these blocks. Good luck. So maybe there are a few surprises left. I suppose they've left a few spoilers uh, unspoiled for us and we're just gonna have to go out and experiment. I'm sure we'll learn in due time if there are any bizarre effects out there given some of the strange blocks we can use like slime blocks, that sort of thing. And then, as I mentioned at the very beginning of the video, we saw a little glimpse of the Pro Shop. Well, believe it or not, there's a golfer NPC now. That's right, Terraria has a golfer NPC. This one in this image is Gunner McLovin. Maybe a play on Shooter McGavin, uh, the classic film Happy Gilmore. In fact, I'm pretty positive it is. Loki writes, be sure to stop by the Pro Shop, or you know, build a new one to chat up the new golfer NPC. This friendly chap is an expert on all things golf and is your best, well, only really source for golf and golf accessories. From clubs to balls and more, he has it all. Only one problem, really, he hasn't been heard from in quite some time. The guide overheard him muttering something about working on his sand trap game. Maybe that means something to you? Well, let us know if you find him, will you? That's a pretty blatant hint that you'll find them in, in the desert. Whether it's the underground desert or above ground, I guess we'll have to wait and see. Anyway, that's a summary of Terraria Golf. I'm sure there's no substitute for playing. As I said, this is going to be pretty good for multiplayer. If you're not really into combat or if you're tired of building. Or even if you're not tired of building, I suppose you could design golf courses as a team. But certainly there's a nice little competitive aspect to it. And in journey mode, you're going to be able to play much more safely. So it's a nice little addition. I don't know if Redigit was cultivating a golf habit from all the money he's gained from Terraria. Maybe, maybe not. But certainly I'm not going to look a gift horse in the mouth. And this is a nice, big and unexpected addition to Terraria 1.4. Nice and frivolous too. So there you go. Um, maybe more videos about Terraria Golf will be forthcoming once I get the chance to actually play it. But for now, that's a little primer and just a, a taste of just one of many features that they're adding to Terraria 1.4. Heaven help us when it comes time to read the uh, patch log, right? It's going to be massive. Anyway, that's it for now. Thanks for watching, and uh, I guess it's time to knock the rust off your golf game if you haven't played in a while, because evidently golf is going to be coming very soon. Take care, everyone.